This is Cymbeline. She's a stunning 58 foot reverse style cruiser stern narrowboat built by Aquiline only 90, in, in 2012 rather. Um, she's in immaculate condition both inside and out. Cymbeline by the way, she's named after a Pink Floyd song released in 1969. Slightly different spelling and pronunciation, it's a Shakespearean character but this is Cymbeline. And she's in very good condition, as I've said. There's a self-seeking satellite dish on the roof that we've passed. The cruiser stern deck there is huge, 7 feet 9 inches long I've measured it at. The engine's under there, Beta 38, super clean in there. And super quiet as well, she has a hospital silencer and she handles really nicely. There's the view from the helmsman's position. And let's go and have a look inside. She's fitted out in oak face ply with oak trim. The fit out is beautiful. Aquilines do not disappoint. Reverse style, so into the kitchen we go. Granite worktops. Good head height on the boat, 6 feet 7. Here's one of those carousel cupboards that I get so excited about. There's an enormous amount of storage actually on this boat. There's a four burner gas hob, it's all belling this, and a domestic size grill and oven. Squeaky clean. There are cupboards over these granite work surfaces. And here's the integral fridge with an ice box. That's domestic size as well, it's a very good size. And a bank of three drawers here. There are the Hallmark Aquiline lights in the steps. There's a large hanging cupboard here, wardrobe, call it what you like. There's the landline. And on the other side is the typically neat Aquiline electrics. There's the inverter, that's a Victron Multi Plus Compact Inverter Charger, 1200 kilowatts. And the sink is next to that. Stainless steel. Storage under. And in there, huge cupboard. The floor in here, by the way, is slate. All very luxurious. I may be wrong, I've been wrong in the past, but I don't think this boat will hang around very long. It's a neatly built shelves in the corner then here's the L-shaped sofa the table stalls under the gunnels here there's a side hatch opposite this turns into a spare double berth all the lighting on board is LED and the floor by the way in here is solid oak on into the galley there's a single armchair there there's room for a sofa bed or another armchair the television there and there's a DVD CD player underneath, neatly stored in that cupboard. The self-seeking satellite is all linked up to that. And there's a television arrow point in the bedroom as well, actually. The stove you saw there is a Morso squirrel with some very good cupboards next to it. The owners have even left an unused logbook in the, in the cupboard there for the new owners. Lovely touch. It's blank, so you can start from scratch on your adventures. Lovely wall lighting in here as well. The galley, by the way, was 10 feet 8 inches long. The saloon is 10 feet and the dinette was 6 feet long. This is where I cannot avoid the mirror. I've thought long and hard about it. It's just not possible. Super luxurious bathroom. The loo is a ceramic Vetus electric flush pump out. The basin is ceramic. The worktop, or rather the tops in here are granite. Beautiful quadrant tiled shower with glass doors. Slate floor in here as well by the way, some useful linen shelves and a cupboard in between the shower and the gunnel. There's the slate floor. And being reverse layout, the main bedroom is in the forward cabin. These are the radiators, there are fin rads running the length of the boat. It's a diesel fired with Basto system, the central heating. Also heats the towel rail. Cupboards all the way over the bed. And a nice little 
dressing table I suppose in the corner large double wardrobe floor to ceiling and then there's the well deck storage under the lockers all the way around the well deck the well deck is um, four feet six inches long and there is a winter cover for that forward board the cratch cover is in very good condition actually and has glazed sides to it so you can see through or clear I shouldn't say glazed so we'll walk back through the boat she has a galvanic isolator hot water is heated by the engine with basto system and there is an immersion heater when on the landline she was last blacked in March 2019 so very recently anodes were fine and I'm not sure if I mentioned there's only 520 hours on the engine there is a tonneau that protects the rear deck in the winter or in periods of idleness. And out we go. Absolutely super boat. Nothing to do to her. She comes with all the necessary bits and pieces to just turn the key and disappear. So that's Symboline for a gallery of further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.